Clouds. What's going on Spartans? King here bringing another Let's Play with King. I had a few raids left over from our push and I wanted to show you guys some of the high-low gameplay, one of the attacks on my defense, and of course a bunch of barching raids that were pretty awesome done by me. Now let's get started right off the bat. Some of it's going to have music to it, the rest of it's going to be me commentating. But I hope you guys enjoy this, just want to get some more content out there for you guys because I know it's been hard to get a lot of content out the last few weeks been working a lot, but I finally had some time, and I want to make plenty of videos for you, so hopefully you guys appreciate it. As you can see, I started out dropping these golems down, let them take some hits. That king is trying to kill him. I didn't drop as many wizards as I should have to take care of him, and he really did do a lot of damage to my golem, unfortunately. However, the other two are going strong, and it looks like I'm at the powerhouse over there, so I drop one P.E.K.K.A. on the left side, and I drop my king, queen, and other P.E.K.K.A.s on the right side along my clan castle. Let's get rocking to the center of this base. We're going to powerhouse to the south side. And of course, you got the clan castle coming out. They want to start a fight. That's not going to end well for them. The king is not happy. Let's drop that jump spell and get these guys rolling. You can see the king is already taking out the rest of this. And since they cleared that little compartment, they're all going right for that center. All the multi-target infernos around them. So let's rage these guys. And let's see if they can take this out really quickly. And it's over. Got one more multi-target Inferno, and then it's golden. Let's freeze it, and we will take care of it. The center's ours, 57%, two-star. So automatically got a two-star win, which is awesome. Quite a bit of loot, too. Let's see if we can snag anything more. It's not looking great right now, but we do have my queen alive. My king is hurting pretty badly. And, oh boy, let's use that freeze up and get it done, all right? That queen's got that flaming bow. It's just wrecking two hits to that cannon. And she's all I have left. Her health is so low, she's going to get nothing more on the gold or elixir side. But she did a good job. Valiant effort. This base is absolutely destroyed. 69%. Got a minute left, though. And it looks like we're going to go ahead and speed this up and let the single archer see if she can get the 70%. Can she do it? She's fighting for that last percent, guys. She wants to win. Now, I hope you guys have been enjoying these Let's Plays by King or with King. And it's it's really been fun doing this, guys. I really do appreciate everything. As I said, I did do, or I will be doing a question and answers episode for 10K, 235,000 gold, 278,000 elixir, 2,000 dark, and nine trophies. Pretty solid for a push. But I will do that Q and A video at 10,000. So let's hurry up and get us me to 10,000 subscribers, and you guys can ask away all the questions you want then. Whew, a lot of talking going on. I've been doing a lot of videos. Just posted that Zombination video. It is 1 o'clock in the morning, guys, and I am trying to pump another video out for tomorrow because I will be doing a double upload for tomorrow, and I have work. So fun times. Got to do it all, guys. Now let's reload these things, get these traps and expos and such reloaded. Got quite a bit of loot going at the second, and let's see here. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Let's go ahead and pop into one more defense. I think you guys have been enjoying that. Have you guys been enjoying seeing the defenses? I know it's quite a bit of a change up, and I think some of you are really enjoying it. I had some comments about it, but if you are enjoying the fact I put defenses in my videos, go ahead and throw a like on this, and also comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, so this guy did attack. His name is Libra from the Pensions, and he is attacking with what looks like a Go Wee Wee. Very interesting. He's going to be doing a go wee wee on this base. And a lot of people were hating on it, saying this base sucks. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I did just change my base so all the haters can stop. But the base was pretty well designed, even though it didn't look like it. The actual defenses were well laid out, even though the walls were terribly done. They were just there to distract the viewer. As I said, the base was made in a circular pattern as far as defenses, and the Infernals were well protected along with the Clan Castle and Town Hall being in the center. But not happy about the base. It wasn't doing as well as it needed to. Definitely was not a pushing base, but it was a fun base to screw with people's heads. So we did change it. And as you can see, he is going for that Inferno. He's trying to kill it so hard, but my Clan Castle is defending it along with the Queen. And the queen's going to go ahead and try and stop that king, but the king looks like he's going to take that. Oh no, he's freezing. And he's going to, oh my god, he's distracted. This is awesome. All the troops are going right for my dark elixir. All of a sudden they got distracted and came after my queen. And look at that, saved my dark elixir. The king could have taken it all, but he failed. He got 1,300 though. 
I got 23 trophies, 42% only, pretty solid. I'll take that loss of 1300 dark for that. And overall, decent raid. The guy did do a good job, and it looks like my Inferno did run out the end there. So he got a little lucky, but well done raid, just not good enough. So let's jump right into another raid by me. Massive amount of, um, ah, cannot talk. Massive amount of loot here, guys. So let's see how much we can take of that. I'm thinking we can take quite a bit of it, and then we'll throw some music on after this raid, and let's get going through all these awesome barge raids I got lined up for you. If you're not a fan of Barch, not blaming you, but Barch is one of the most effective, most effective raiding forces there are for both pushing and, of course, for farming. They're cheap, they're reliable, they're predictable, and they're fast. So they do do quite a bit of damage in a quick amount of time. Unfortunately, I did drop all these Pekkas. Look at them go. All my max little Pekkas going ham, and those Teslas are there in the big bomb too. This is unfortunate that Clan Castle is going to hold them right in front of that Tesla. So I dropped the jump spell and rage the king. I do not want that Tesla doing any more damage. And it did too much already. This is sad. It probably killed one or two P.E.K.K.A.s right there. But let's get these guys pumping into the center here. Unfortunately, they're distracted by the gold and elixir. I can't blame them. I'd be distracted too. I'd want that also. But let's rage these guys and try and get some of them to go back. And they're not going to. But it looks like one P.E.K.K.A. is hungry for that center. Did blow a hole in the wall. And the dragon is trying to end my raid here. You can see how much damage he's doing. He's doing area damage to all my P.E.K.K.A.s and King. This is a bad situation, guys. I do not like this at all. My queen's going to get rid of that inferno, though, luckily. And it looks like the P.E.K.K.A.s are surviving a little longer. Let's get rid of that expo. Can they take the town hall? One P.E.K.K.A. doing it on his own. He's trying to take it. Unfortunately, he's dying way too fast between those expo, inferno, and dragon combo. It's up to my queen right now. Pekka's dead. Let's Invisor kill that dragon. And oh no. If she had only concentrated on the town hall instead of that air D, I might have won. This is way too close. I did not win. I would have for sure won if she hadn't attacked that air D. 5% or less on that town hall. That is such a shame. But I did get the 61%, and that one Pekka is working his way around or working her way around the outside. Excuse me. I know it's a lady. And actually, it's two pe it looks like two Pegas for a second there. That was weird. Strange. A little bit of a glitch, it looked like. Anyway, this raid is going to end really quickly here. He is gone. And 280,000 of each with 3,000 dark. I will take that, guys. That's quite a win for eight trophies. Would have liked the Town Hall, but you know what? You can't get it all all the time. Definitely got room to improve. Not used to that hero ability yet. Could have used it a little better, but we will work on that. So, let's get this music turned up, and you guys enjoy the next few raids. I will be back to commentate on the end of it, but definitely enjoy. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. I rise like a phoenix Born from the ashes I take care of my own Torn down where I sat You can't suffocate my Born from the ashes 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 Born
Born from the ashes Born from the ashes Born from the Born from the Born from the You can't suffocate my spirit Cause I'm the king on my own throne, throne, oh, 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 oh. King on my own throne, my own throne You'll never see me fall, fall You'll never see me fall Watch me rain Alrighty, right back into it guys. You saw pretty some, some pretty decent rates for the most part, but very simple. They are very common bases, and let's attack a non-common base. How about that? And as you can see, I'm going to lightning that wizard tower. Now guys, you know what's funny? Actually, before I go on continue commentating, I hope you did enjoy that song. It will be in the description below if you want to find that. It's got a free download you can do, so definitely get that if you like that. And of course... I also want to say I'm totally using that song for an all-dragon raid. How epic would that be? That song with all dragons? It'd be so cool. Anyway, I'm off that subject. Let's get back to the bar trading, and we will have some fun here. Now, as you can see, just circling this base, taking out some wizard towers here. Going to go a little heavy from the northwest side and also the southeast. As you can see, I took those wizard towers out. I'm going to save that bottom southwest side for my king or queen, probably. Drop a hero or, you know, clan cast or something. But definitely going to go ahead and take out as much of this golden elixir as possible. That is what I'm looking for. That inferno tower is out, luckily. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that as much as possible. And, of course, got to blow all those bombs up. Unfortunately, I'm going to hit some that I can't avoid. But taking a decent amount of loot already. Let's get a little more. Drop the king, queen. As you can see, I dropped him by that. I dropped the king directly in front of that wizard. So he'd take the hits rather than my archers. And I destroyed that very quickly. My barbarians are going to go for that archer tower, which the archers already took care of. Look at all this loot. I'm just racking it up. Over 200k of each already. Just slamming this base to the ground. Can't do anything to stop me. King is still alive. It's going to be a king v king battle. Can he do it? Nope. He was already at like 10% health when he finally faced the king. So unfortunately, he was too hungry for that elixir. But we'll get a good king battle in the next few raids here. Going to let this queen go invisible and take out an expo. Maybe two if we get really, really lucky. And are we lucky enough? It's going to be close. Oh my god. 1% health on it. We didn't get it. Such a shame. I do like getting for that, going for that achievement. I do want to get rid of some expos. And of course, some more Inferno Towers. Got to get that achievement done. Both of them. But 220,000 gold. 334,000 elixir. 2,600 dark. While pushing, getting seven trophies. Which is Barch. This is why I use it. Super good rating strategy. Definitely can climb up. And this is in Masters 2, Masters 3. So these are not easy bases. And they all are very high level. And of course, it's also very high level as far as trophies. So people are defending with serious bases. So you definitely can't say it's easy to take any of this elixir or gold. It's definitely not. But if you use the proper strategy with Barch, you can definitely do it. 
Now, let's go for one more here. I'm going to speed this up, as you saw there. I sped up a ton, just dropped all these troops in. I hate watching the first 10 seconds of how I think about where I'm dropping my troops, because once I start flowing, I start dropping like crazy, and my troops start going to work. Drop my king and queen in the bottom here. Let's watch them go to work. Definitely have been enjoying watching them use their abilities, and I'm sure you realize, since you have kings and queens yourselves, that you've got to pay attention to them a lot more. They're very needy now, because their health is not as high. Even though the king's still a tank, he is not the tank he used to be where you could just drop him and be like, oh, a minute later, oh, there he is. All right, now enrage him. Or, you know, you enrage him immediately and just watch him go ham for a minute and a half. But now it's like you got to really pay attention to where they're at and what they're doing or you're going to lose. Like, they're just not going to survive that line. I mean, look at the queen. If I hadn't paid attention there, two or three more hits, she would have died for sure. 100% it would have been over. The king has died, though. Queen's taking some more gold and elixir. Let's see if she can get the rest of that elixir there. It looks like she's out of range of everything except that expo. And the king, since he has that new rule he doesn't chase, he is just chilling watching. 110,000 gold, 260,000 elixir, and 1,200 dark. Seven more trophies. Pretty solid. Hope you guys enjoyed the music. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the Let's Play. And, of course, stay tuned for more epic raids, defenses, Let's Plays, and upgrading crazy stuff. Gotta have some fun. Let's finish building up these troops, and I will get out of your guys' hair for the day. Before I do though, check out my max level Tesla. Looks so awesome. Gotta love it. And guys, I really do hope you are enjoying this. Subscribe to my channel and Clash Army, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.